So this activity is related to engineering in the movies, and in particular the job that sound engineers do, and it's called Good Vibrations. In the guide itself there's a little bit of history about how sound has developed over the years, and then there are three challenges. The first challenge is all about looking at vibrations produced by sound waves. And you can do this by taking a plastic cup, cutting off the bottom and stretching a balloon over the top. And then if you glue a small mirror on top of this, which you then have a red laser pointing at, so in this case I made sure that my laser was less than one milliwatt, you can then look at where that reflected laser beam goes to. And as you play a sound through your mobile phone, you'll be able to look at not only how quickly that laser beam moves, but also how much it moves by, which is related to how loud that sound is. Challenge two is called the sound carousel, and here you're using the property of resonance of these empty bottles. So if you blow over the top, you can then record the sound that these naturally vibrate at. And then what you need to do, you need to take two of these bottles, attach them to a dowel rod, which is balanced in the middle, and if you play back the sound through a loudspeaker, the sound that the bottle made originally, you should then see that something quite amazing happens. And challenge three, the sound sandwich, is one of my favourites. So this is something that the students can make and then take away with them. And for this you use these large lolly sticks or tongue depressors. If you stretch a large rubber band around the bottom one, and then have a couple of straws spaced up to the top uh, kind of stick that you've got here, when you blow through it, you then get an amazing noise. So this activity works really well for Key Stage 2 and 3 Science and also Design Technology. Now this is just one of 12 activities and if you'd like to download it for your own students, please go to the STEM Resources website to download your copy.